Primeiro com ela. Beryllium, beryllium is a very useful element in the modern world. It is used in spaceships, missiles, high speed aircraft, communication satellites, and many more interesting things. But beryllium is used in its pure form in these things. It is used in alloys to make stronger and lighter material. One of the main alloys of beryllium is beryllium copper. Beryllium copper is malleable, meaning it can be hammered into the sheet. An example of its malleability is when it's formed into wires. These wires can also be formed into springs. Beryllium copper is also very light. It is so light. Uh, no. It is so light. This is why it's used in spaceships and satellites and planes, because it's lighter, so it can go faster and be more fuel efficient. <coughs> Beryllium copper also doesn't spark. This is useful in work, work sites that have any poisonous, uh, any flammable gases, because you would want it to catch fire. Beryllium isn't only useful, it can also be used, it can also be used in fine jewelry. The compound that allows this to happen, the compound that allows beryllium to be like this is beryl. If you're wondering why beryl is in the word beryllium, the reason to this is because beryl was discovered first. And when Nicholas Louis Bacquelin discovered beryllium and found that it was inside beryl, he added a, added a little bit to the word bar bar barrel. <laughs> All the types of barrel are red barrel, aquamarine, maxites, golden barrel, halider, goshenite, morganite, and even emerald. Emerald is the most expensive out of all types of barrel. It is so expensive that it can be that it can be up to ten thousand dollars per carat. But this is only for the finest and rarest of all emeralds. This is the size of an emerald that's one carat. This could be worth ten thousand dollars. Okay. So, beryllium is in the second family on the periodic table. Or this is also called the alkaline earth metals, as you can see from the arrow. All of these elements in the alkaline earth metals are all very reactive and all are never found alone in nature. They're always in compounds. Beryllium has some very interesting and odd traits. One of these odd traits is that it tastes like sugar. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend eating beryllium because it's poisonous, <coughs> and you'd probably die. Beryllium also has a very low density. This density is so low <coughs> that if you took off 0 0.85 grams per meter, it would be able to float on water, like wood. It is also very light. Its density is so light that if you, took, if you were blindfolded, that. Nah, Weight. It's, so weight. it's so light that if you were blindfolded and someone were to place it in your hand, you'd never guess a metal. Beryllium also has a very high melting point. Its melting point is so high that if you that it is eleven just over eleven times hotter than boiling water. It is also non-magnetic. Beryllium was created in the Big Bang. This, this is why there's not much beryllium. The only other source of its creation is when stars explode, but that doesn't happen too often. There are only three places in the world that mine and process beryllium. These three places are Kazakhstan, China, and the US. This is the Utah mine in the, in the US. In 2018, the next generation of the James Webb Space Telescope will be coming out. It will have a 6.5 meter beryllium mirror that will help us see much further galaxies. Here's another view with the mirror. Beryllium is also
also found in eye surgery. What it does in eye surgery is it directs the beam at a certain point. Beryllium, beryllium isn't only found in such uncommon things like dark space telescopes or <coughs> eye surgery. It's also found in more common things like cell phones, MP3 players, computers, air conditioning, and even cars. Overall, beryllium deserves its name of the miracle metal because it is used in such a variety of, a variety of things. All from from missiles all the way over to fine jewelry. Yeah.